Hi there, welcome to my tutorial. Let's make some clowns. So, to begin making a particle system, add a Unity particle system to your scene. Next, I set the duration to 1, the lifetime to 200, because we want it to be alive for a few minutes, and the start speed to 0. I also added some randomized 3D start size to get some more uneven clouds. I reduced the max particles to 100 and set the emission to something low, so they don't all despawn at once. In the shape module I made a simple sphere, you can add a mesh a shape if you want. Making cloud shapes can actually be more effective to making realistic cloud shapes. Next, we want the color of a lifetime to make it fade in and out. This is going to be our fake uh, interaction with the particles. Make sure that the particles are completely invisible about 10 seconds before their actual, actual lifetime is over. We're gonna need this later on in our code. Because what we are going to do is we're gonna set or force the particle system's lifetime just before they start to fade out. Now, to add the actual interaction with the particles, you're gonna need to add a new layer. I call mine agent and to use this layer, we have to enable the external forces module. Next, add an ga empty game object. I called it player. Uh, to that object, add a particle system force field and set the force to about minus dot two. Also add a trigger collider. Uh, all types of colliders are fine as long as the collider is a tad bigger than the force field. Next, we're going to add that layer into the external forces module because it only has to look at that layer. I set the multiplier to two and set the object layer to agent. Now, when I press play, you can see that I can now push the particles away with this game object. But the particles don't seem to stop moving they actually go on forever and they don't fade out yet after i've touched them with that object next up i want to make the particles a bit less static so i'm going to add a noise module and tweak the values a bit till i'm satisfied with it you can do whatever you want and i make sure to only set it to size amount and not make it influence the position or rotation so to fix the particles from going on forever I'm going to enable the limit velocity over lifetime and set the speed to a exponentially decreasing curve uh, I'm also going to give a slight drag to the particle system about 0 0.85 and I'm only going to multiply it by velocity I want them all to equally move as slow and here's the results they don't float off into infinity which has a much nicer feel to it the code setup to actually be able to access the particles with our scripts we're gonna need to enable the triggers module the only thing we need is the exit variable and it needs to be on callback and we gotta assign the object with the force field to that list. Next, create a script. Mine is called kill particles on trigger. And add it to your particle system. Now, delete all the standard voids Unity creates. And let's start with a little clean header. This is the settings header. And on in here, I'm going to make a variable, which is going to be the remaining lifetime we want to put the particle system's lifetime to. 
Next, I'm going to add a little header and make a particle system reference. Now, for the trigger, we're going to have to do something with. I'm going to make a function on particle trigger. I have added the code to my tutorial page. There's a paste bin link. You can grab the code. But for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to explain what it does step by step. So if particles are being called, with a callback, I'm going to add them to an array. And in that array, I'm going to check if the l remaining lifetime of those particles is smaller than the on exit remaining lifetime variable. And if they are, I am going to force their lifetime to the on exit remaining lifetime variable. If their remaining lifetime is already smaller than our variable, I'm going to let them complete their cycle and die out naturally. Here I made a slight mistake because I forgot to make an if statement. But I will fix it very soon. Now that we have completed the code, we can add remaining lifetime. This should be 10 and assign the particle system. Now, if we move around the object with the force field, you can see once we have pushed them away, they will start to slowly fade out. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about making the actual visual shader for the clouds. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and till next time.